NASCAR actually provided Jim yep. with all the CAD drawings of the real car. Yes. And as you said to me, it was like laying tracing paper down. You basically oh, this is no, this is even this. better than tracing paper. That's the, <laughs> when I can get a scan of something. That's yeah. like tracing paper. Oh yeah. But this all. Oh, Nobody is going to have any grounds to complain about any surface on this mm -hmm. because all of the visual surfaces of this entire thing are their files. Mm -hmm. the, that skin on the hood, the body shape, everything is theirs. All I did was add a, add a material thickness. So, right. so that was my part of this and make it, make it moldable. Yeah. And then I'll also make it assemblable, and that's and that's where we are right now. Is parts, tweaking those all the parts. Now he brings the trees, and I don't know if you guys notice this. This is unpigmented plastic. It's a little bit that is virgin styrene. Yeah. yeah. So this is what it really looks like. Mm -hmm. So even the white has a pigment in it mm -hmm. when it's white. Part I I was like, okay, I got to see this, and Jim busts this tree out for me. Uh, if you can see that, but the detail of the control arms, I couldn't wait to see that. Just nailed it all. It was great. And those coilovers look spectacular. Where do you guys see this? There's a little there's a little addition we did to to the lower A arms for the rear. Mm -hmm. um, because Rick when he assembled his, because they look symmetric, but mm -hmm. they're not. No. And he accidentally got one of his, so he's got one wheel forward and one wheel back. Nah. So what I've done is on the on the tree there's going to be little tabs with arrows mm. and the arrow will be and it'll be on the instructions arrow points to the front and the arrow is on the top side ah, so when you nice, cut them off the nice. tree you've just got to make sure you don't flop it but you'll know which is the top and which is forward good yep. good good thinking yep. and that's why you do these pre-assemblies mm, ex yeah. that's exactly that's why, that's why we go though. through and and deal with the screw-ups yeah. you <laughs> see all of the parts that are this 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 is uh all the brakes look at the pulleys and the belts you got the scale of the belts nice usually on model kits the the belts mm. are really thick this looks like it's the these these are these are better than yeah than previous ones I've I've done yeah definitely really nice really nice stuff yeah this is exciting this is an exciting time because in past whenever there'd be a new car in NASCAR or any form of racing mm -hmm. it'd be a year before the model companies would have at, it out at least and a here year. the the cars haven't even hit the track and we've got test ones sitting here I yeah mean, it's real it's happening we won't we won't have them out in time for Daytona um, they should be coming out probably huh, March 1st maybe cross your fingers yeah be but early you know March. it's it's because you you want them to be right it's it's a better exactly. it's better for them to be right than to be um, you know and be a little late or be on the, time yeah. this Rick and I have talked it over it several times these this kit is going to be in production for uh, it's going to be relative for at least 10 years they're yeah. going to be driving oh yeah maybe not those bodies but these chassis they're going to be doing this for 10 oh yeah years. this chassis is going to so, last a long time so he said okay let's take our time and make sure everything is is i i, I hesitate to say perfect mm -hmm. but that's an imperfect perfect let's just say as absolutely correct as we can possibly get it and buildable and I the buildable part right now is what we're working on and and, mm -hmm. and it'll be it'll be done